Let me tell you a story. I literally don't even know who I am anymore. I literally don't know. Let me tell you what happened. So I'm not like big into astrology, but I'm like kind of into astrology just because I find it interesting. And I went on CoStar because my friend James, you know, Caitlin, she was like, you have to get CoStar. And then I was getting my makeup done at Charlotte Tilbury. And the other guy was like, you have to get CoStar. Like you can't live your life without it. And so I said, mm, stop begging me. I'll get it immediately. I bought it. I didn't buy it. It was free. And so I went to put all my information in, like, you know, your birthday, what time you were born, all that kind of stuff. Literally my whole life I thought I was a Sagittarius and apparently I'm a Capricorn only by a few minutes. The cusp was like 1022 or 1017. Maybe it was 10, I think it was 1022 and I was born at 1038 PM. I'm on the cusp. I am a Capricorn. Let me tell you, let me just go ahead and tell you. I'm a Capricorn, my moon is Aquarius and I'm a Virgo rising. What is this? What is this? I don't even know who I am anymore. I actually don't understand. I literally don't understand. I'm not knowing. I'm not knowing anything. So if you know anything about astrology, please let me know about myself because I'm fully unaware. I had to look up my personality traits last night because I, I just didn't know. So let's get into the video. Okay, so I've been feeling some type of way recently. Like I've just been feeling some type of way literally since January. You all know I've kind of talked about it on here, posted a video and like things just progressively got more... I was going to say more bad. They just got worse and it's not been the funnest. And so today I decided, I was like, you know what, Katie Vaughn, we have a choice. We have a choice and we can focus on all the bad and all the things that are going wrong or we can focus on the good and all the things that are going right. Also, it's 9,000 degrees in here. So if you're like, oh, what's that noise? It's my windows. They're open because my air conditioning broke. It'd be like that sometimes. So for our mental health, we're focusing on the good. And I was like, you know what? The devil's trying to attack me. He's putting up fists he is coming in the ring ready to go you know but I said go to hell devil so yeah that's what's happening and not only is it important to make those decisions for yourself mentally for your own like good but also it's important to take care of your physical health and that brings me to today's point which or today's point today's sponsor which is ritual I honestly saw ritual first whenever juicy jazz my girl juicy jazz I love her um posted about ritual on her channel on her vlog channel and I think her regular channel channel as well and I was like, oh, that's really neat. And so I looked into it because I'm all about the natural supplements. I'm all about helping your body. I'm all about being very healthy, well-rounded individual and just like taking care of yourself. So whenever Ritual reached out to me, I was actually so excited. So today we're going to be talking about the Ritual Essential for, Essential for Women Multivitamin. Okay, I love these because they're vegan, number one. Also, number two, even Caleb was like, those are the coolest looking vitamins or like just pill supplement in general I've ever seen please take a moment they do make me feel like i'm a movie and it also smells so good that's besides the point it has like nothing to do with anything but they have a very like peppermint kind of smell which i love so ritual really focuses on not just getting your vitamins from that but having a food first approach and so we get a lot of foods or we get a lot of nutrients and um, vitamins through our foods but it's also really important to get the ones that we don't through a multivitamin and that's why you take a multivitamin You've probably heard that you can't out-exercise a bad diet. Same thing with vitamins. You can't take a multivitamin and not eat any nutritiously dense foods. And so that's kind of there as like a stepping stone or like a building block for already having a good diet and getting your vitamins and nutrients in, which is obviously very important. Also, the capsule design is really neat, obviously, but it's a slow-release capsule design. And so it goes through your stomach and is actually meant for absorption in your large, is it your large or your small? It's your small intestine, which is the ideal place for absorption. So you get the majority or not the majority, but you get the most benefit um, from taking the vitamin. Also, another thing I love about this, a lot of vitamins go into the stomach. And so you have to take like a, you have to eat food with them. So it doesn't upset your stomach, but because this one does not, you can take it whenever. So you can take it in the morning at night, middle of the day, even if you've had no food or you've had a ton of food, it's not going to upset your stomach. And I love that because sometimes I don't want to eat. You know, sometimes I'm like, mm, it's 5 a.m. I don't want breakfast yet. Also, it's not a hard pill. It's not a hard pill to swallow. It goes right down your neck, right down your throat. You can't taste it. So it doesn't have a nasty taste or anything like that. It's easy to take. It's easy to remember. I love the packaging. I know that that doesn't matter. Okay, I know that it doesn't technically matter, but I still love the packaging and think that is amazing. So thank you so much to Ritual for sponsoring the portion of today's video. And let's get on to the makeup. You can use KD20 to get 20% off of your first month of using Ritual, which I would highly recommend doing. 
Um, a lot of the vitamins that you get are not regulated by any, literally anybody. And so you want to get a vitamin that has research backing it, that has t been tested with humans, and that has a lot of positive, rev positive reviews because you don't want to just buy some random thing off Amazon and just hope it's going to work for you. I love taking Ritual. I can tell a difference in my body and my skin and my hair and my overall well-being whenever I take it. And I really think that if you're into health, wellness, whatever it is, that it'll be very beneficial for you to take as well. So you can use code KD20. I'll have it here on the screen and I'll have it in the description box below where you guys can sign up and use my code and discount to get 20% off your first month. So without further ado, let's get into the makeup portion of the video. Okay, besties. Wait a minute. I don't have a mirror. I feel like I have found so many good products recently that I've been loving, but I haven't really been posting, obviously, so I haven't been able to tell you all all the goodies that I've found. Um, I did prep my skin earlier because I had a meeting, so I was like, I want to have my skincare done for my meeting. Took a shower, you know, all the things. And so I'm going to reapply my um, moisturizer. It's the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. You all know that I love this one, and I was just like, today... I just want to do my makeup and know it's going to look good and not have to fight with it and not be like, not knowing how it's going to look. You know, that's not my journey. Also, I have a few new things to show you that I just love and think you guys will love as well. Anyway, isn't that crazy about my not knowing that I'm a Capricorn? I feel so shook to my core. Shook to my core. I texted James and I was like, I don't even know myself. Don't even know myself. And it really disturbed me to find out the information, especially through a chart. Like, in my whole life, I was, I was just thinking I was a Sagittarius. Like, I know it's not that big of a deal. Like, does it really matter? No. Is astrology even, like, an accurate thing? I don't, I don't want to say no, but I don't want to say yes. Um... You know, but here we are. I do think that, like, a lot of them uh, line up with personality traits. And whenever I was reading about a Capricorn, I was like, that does sound like me. Like, they're very goal-driven, very, like, hard-headed, um, but are very kind, very trustworthy, and, like, honest people. And so I was like, and that's me. But then also I was thought of Sagittarius for 112 years, so... Clearly, I have Sagittarian traits. Sagittarian traits. I don't even think that's a real thing. I think I just made that up. It is pouring the rain outside. We did a photo shoot yesterday. I actually vlogged it, but I don't think I'm going to post a vlog until... Um, what was I going to say? I'm not going to post a vlog until... Oh, until I get some of the pictures back. Because, well, I just don't think I am. Um, but I think it'll be... So exciting. Okay, I just went in with my I literally forgot how to film a makeup video. Someone fire me. Uh, I went in with my Dermatology SPF. You all know the one. It's my go-to. Love it. Live it. Live for it. It's my everything. And I used the Debronzy, Drunk Elephant Debronzy. It'll be linked down below. Now I'm using the Kosas Concealer. And y'all thought I was going to go with the Illy one, didn't you? Didn't you? Yeah, I did too. I'm not though. So this is in the shade 3.2. And then I'm going to use the shade 6N, or 6O, sorry, 6O for 6 olive, um, on my actual face, like, where I need coverage. And I find that the shade selection of this particular product is just, like, the most confusing thing. Like, the world could solve Enigma. Oh, crap. The world could solve Enigma before you could understand the shade selection from this particular product. Like, sometimes I just want to go up to Kosas and be like, baby, what are you doing? But it's okay. So, like, this is 3.2. It pulls very yellow. And then this is 6 olive. This matches my skin absolutely perfectly. Phenomenally amazingly. So, shout out Kosas for that color. But I have tried so many colors for my under eyes. And I feel like none of them give what need to be gave. But it does look great under my eyes. Anyways, back to my talk earlier of what's going on in my life as far as mental health goes. I just like had a discussion with myself this morning at the gym. Some very unfortunate things have been happening recently. And you know, that's just life. God never said that we weren't gonna have any issues. He was never like, I'm gonna put you on earth and you're not gonna have any problems. Um, and I understand that. I don't like it, but I understand it. 
and uh, I just was annoyed honestly because I was like I feel like so much is just going on in my life and I feel like I have been really struggling to rest and to uh, just get stuff done and just just feel joy honestly and so I was like I'm gonna film today I had a come to Jesus meeting with myself I talked to my mom I was like listen this is what's going on in my life I need your help I need your wisdom your guidance and like your motherly advice because it's not given what needs to be gave and she was like what and I said life honey life isn't let me grab my contour wand just kidding I'm not grabbing my contour wand I'm grabbing this from Dibs Beauty this is the um Desert Island Duo Stick in the shade iced chai and not so basic I have another one in here and I don't recall that shade name but I'm gonna use this one because it's in my hand and I like them. I like these a lot. They're easy to blend. Anyway, I was telling her that and I was like, listen, I'm just feeling some type of way in my soul. And I was like, listen here, I'm not going to be feeling this way. I was like, I've had too many days where I've just been really sad and had so much going on. And I have things to be happy about and I can focus on the bad things very easily. But I'm not going to. I'm going to focus on the good things. And I'm going to focus on all the positives and the things that are going well in my life. And I'm going to turn my attitude around. Like, I'm not going to take no for an answer. I'm just going to turn my attitude around and get over myself. And do the dang work. And do things that I need to do. And be happy. And um, move forward, you know. Because there are some mistakes I've made or things that I haven't been as good about as I thought I should be. Like, just with branded content. Because, honestly, branded content is really difficult. Um, there's so much that goes into it. There's so much, um, back and forth between you and the brand and trying to get everything to be perfect. And yeah, it's just really difficult. But anyways, I was like down on myself because I didn't get things turned in on time because of whatever the reason was. And honestly, sometimes I had a really good reason and sometimes I didn't have a really good reason other than the fact that I was just, I didn't do well like I thought I would. And I was just like, though, you just have to accept that. You have to be like, okay, this is my bad. This is my mistake. And you can't dwell on it. You just have to move on. And you have to be like, yeah, I did that. Or I didn't do that. Or whatever it is. And then move on. Like, you just got to move on. And find joy, even when there is no joy to be found. And just be like, here are things I'm grateful for. Here is what's happening in my life. Etc. So that's kind of where I'm at. And I am being, trying to be like at peace with everything. Okay, I'm going to go in with my uh, Anastasia bronzer. You all know that I love this. I love the Dibs Beauty Stick, but if I just, like, know, like, I just need to know my makeup is going to look really good, uh, then I'll wear this one. And it, I can mix it too, too, obviously. Yesterday, like, I, I think I mentioned this, we had a photo shoot for Fawn Beauty, and we used me, Caitlin, who's lighter than me, and I'm, like, a medium skin tone, and which it, I look so pale on screen, because of the lights. I've said that a hundred times. But I promise in real life I'm like pretty dang tan. Um, but anyways. We used me, Caitlin, and then Kiana. Who is African American. And she is so pretty. And uh, she came to the photo shoot. And we used her as a model. And the colors have turned out amazing. I have a picture. I can pop up some on the screen. I think maybe. If I have any back I'll pop up some on the screen. If I don't then I will show you guys right here. One of the pictures. I posted this on Instagram. Or I posted it on my stories. So it's me, Caitlin, and Kiana. And we're all wearing the shade Petal. So you can see what it looks like on different skin tones. I love that. I love that we were able to do that. And I felt really proud of myself and my company. And um, just all the things that I was even able to do that. You know, that I even had the means and the opportunity to do that. And I could pay for a photo shoot and that sort of thing. So that was a big blessing. My skin is given what needs to be gave today. Thank God. I'm going to have to eat soon. It's 12.39. I had no food. I'm a hungry gal. Okay. Usually, you guys know for my blush, I love to layer the Stila um, Convertible Color Blush in the shade Camila. Also, my nails were so cute. And then one of them popped off this morning. And they've been on for like a week and a half. There's a hair or fuzz. Come on. And so I just took them off. But anyway, I love to layer this underneath my um, Ecstasy blush from Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, 
because I just think it gives a really nice like cream base to stick to you know because sometimes you don't get um that much wear or that much long wear out of a blush like it's a blush it's not gonna last for 112 years on your skin but persona cosmetics sent me this blush thank god they did i was so excited i saw this on their uh instagram i'm obsessed with persona cosmetics i think it is by far i'm gonna do a video on this but i think persona cosmetics is by far one of the most slept on underrated brands of all time i've yet to try a product from them that I didn't like and I think they do a phenomenal job. I love Sona. I love their team. I worked with them on a TikTok and if they said well, we're going to pay you 10 cents to do this I would have said okay just because I admire them. I just really like them and I think they're a good team. But anyways without further ado this blush is shut your mouth. It's called Bubble from Persona Cosmetics. Do you pass away? Did you actually fall out of your seat? Are you dying? Yes you are. Perfect. Okay. Uh it is, it's adorable. I love this blush. It gives me Kylie, Kylie Jenner vibes. I do feel like I have an attitude when I wear it. And I have been wearing this either mixed with ecstasy or on top of this. Or I just kind of do my own vibe. But this is stunning. Also, the little pink packaging back here that says bubble. I pass away. Every time I pass away. I love Persona Cosmetics. So, I'm going to use this. And I'm going to do like the kind of uh, makeup by Ariel method where he goes under the eyes and kind of makes it look very doll-like and I'm using his brush well, obviously this A11. A22 I was gonna say that and I forgot. I can never know the difference between the A22 and the A11. Like I always say the wrong. I say whichever it's not for whichever one I'm using. Anyway I'm just it looks very intimidating in the pan. It looks like oh my gosh I could never use that. I, w I wanted to put this on Kiana so bad yesterday but she said that she had on blush already and I was like I'm best to girl let's add it up anyway because I think if you have a really dark skin tone like a um, medium brown black skin tone I think it'd be so pretty on you but also if you're very fair because I put it on James Kaylin and it looked so pretty on her and I was like this is a universally flattering blush which I think is one of their selling points of it is they're like it just flatters absolutely everyone which is a fact it does I am going to mix it with ecstasy because I'm a psychopath and I can't not mix it with ecstasy Okay, dokie. Now I'm going to go in with my brow product. This is my favorite brow product of all time. And honestly, I wish it wasn't. Um, it's a little annoying because I hate the packaging. This is the Anastasia Brow Freeze. You guys have seen me talk about it a thousand times. I have used so much of it. Like literally so much. I don't know if you can see that. But I have used a whole lot. And I continue to use it. And I continue to love it. I've tried the Patrick Top Brow Revelation Gel. I've tried the NYX brow freeze or the next brow glue whatever but this is just the best and i'm really trying to wean myself off of it because i don't want to continue using it and i don't know why but at the same time i do know why i've been trying out this one i just hate the packaging i've been trying out this one from nyx the thick it stick it thickening brow mascara um but the wand is a little too dang big for my liking like that cannot be super precise for brows so it's just not giving what needs to be gave honestly this, I don't really like this. This is my favorite one, but I'm actually out of it, and it's in my cart to, to order from Sephora. It's the Sephora Retractable Brow Pencil. It's waterproof, and I have mine in the shade Medium Brown 05. It's this one just from Sephora, but like I said, I'm out of it, so I picked up this one. It's the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil, but I do not like this near as much as I like the Sephora one. Like, not even a little bit near as much. Um, it's just way too creamy, in my opinion. I think it lays down too much pigment at once. It's just not my personal journey. But that's all I have. So, also after this, I don't know which one's going to go up first. Probably this one. So, after this, I guess, I am filming a drugstore favorites video. Like, of all the drugstore products that I absolutely love. So, make sure that you subscribe and stick around for that. Because I am a just products guru in general. Like, I'm always just trying new things and trying new products and trying to figure out what I like, what I don't like, what I should recommend to you guys, that sort of thing. And um, I don't care what the price point is. If it's really good and it's a thousand dollars, I'll recommend it to you. And if it's really good and it's two cents, I'll recommend it to you. Like I'm not a drugstore discriminatory person. I have an appreciation for all makeup. And so I look at all makeup the same way and I feel like that gives me a good basis to go off of like it kills me when people are like oh it's really good for a drugstore product like why are you putting those stipulations 
anyways, uh, I'm really excited to film it because I have tried a lot of drugstore makeup and I feel like I have some great recommendations for people that I need to try it out. Plus, I, but does anybody else feel this way? Like, I will go to the drugstore and I'm like, $12? $12 for a brow pencil? Like, golly, the drugstore is getting expensive. But then I'll get on, like, Sephora and I'm like, $34 for a brow pencil? We'll take two. Like, does anyone else do that or am I just insane? I feel like people do do that. You just expect to pay more for high-end brands. So, I guess, I guess that's where it stems from. It's like, you're like, baby girl, I ain't trying to pay $12 for no Maybelline. Calm down. But you will be out here paying $12 for Maybelline these days. These are unprecedented times. I cannot explain to you how much I hate the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow, brow freeze packaging. Also, do you all say Anastasia or Anastasia? Because I fully understand the Anastasia, like, you know, movie. She's not a Disney princess, is she? It's just a Disney movie. Yeah. Um, like, I get that. Like, I get her name is Anastasia. What was that? What was that? Anyways, I just, I don't know. I just call it Anastasia. Anastasia. I'm lying to you. I call it Anastasia. I don't know why. It's just what I do. It's just who I am. My back needs cracked. Oh. Also. Um, if you guys are lash wearing gals, okay, hold on, pardon me while I wipe my nose. If you wear lashes a lot, let me know what lashes you think would look good on my eye shape. I do not know. I never wear lashes. I've never really worn lashes, but I'm very interested to see what you guys would think would look good on me because I want to start wearing lashes and just pop them on. You know what I mean? Be a little glam. I told Caleb the other day, I was like, I'm going to start wearing false eyelashes. He was like, okay. Sometimes when I say stuff to him, I think that he just thinks, okay, you know, like, whatever, Katie. Nothing surprises him at this point, you know? Also, I told you guys I was going to pick up the Charlotte Tilbury, um, what is this called? The color corrector in the shade Light Fair One. And I did, Bestie, I did pick it up. I just didn't use it today because I didn't need it. Thank God. I'm going to put on a little bit of Balm.com from Glossier. I still love these. These products, or this product in particular, is so good. I have birthday cake and I have um, cherry. And um, I'm pretty sure, whoo, that smells good. It's basically just like an aquaphor kind of thing. And it's a really occlusive lip balm. And I love it. This and aquaphor are my favorite lip balms of all time. And James, she loves her... Uh, What's it called? Her Tatcha Lip Mask. But I just, I can't get behind that product. I really cannot. Um, it's just not my personal journey. It's just like, mm, that's so expensive for what? Anyways. This product is amazing. I used this on my, you would have seen it before, the video where I was like, this is how I do makeup on people. I used the shade Amber Gold on my, my friend Lucinda. And this is the shade Pillow Talk. I picked it up from um, Sephora the other day. Me and Caleb were on a date in Lexington and I picked it up. Ugh. Well, I ripped it now. And I was like, I think this would be a pretty shade on me. Because I did the whole Pillow Talk look. Aw, this one's kind of messed up a little bit. A really pretty, I mean, it's obviously like the Pillow Talk color, you know? Yeah, let's do that. I was going to do Amber Gold, but I think Pillow Talk will be pretty. I'm going to use... Also, I know this is supposed to be like a video of my everyday makeup look. But every day I do this makeup look just with a different eye or sometimes the same eye. Or sometimes nothing on my eyes. And just pins. I'm taking my Morphe A20 brush and I'm using what was left in the cap and I'm just going to dust it all over my eyes because I'm not trying to do anything really dramatic today. Just a little light dusting of something cute. Also, I picked up the Summer Fridays um, new, oh lord, what's it called? Their eye, eye cream? Yeah, their eye cream. And why could I literally not think of that? Like it's not Anyways, I think it's called Light Aura Eye Cream. Anyways, uh, I picked that up and I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty dang sure that it's causing me to have like a little breakouts under my eyes because I never get that, like literally never. And I have a little bump here and then I had a little bump here last week. Also, on Wednesday, I'm going 
with Caitlin to go, uh, I'm getting micro frequency or radio frequency, radio frequency, micro needling. And I'm really excited because I've had regular micro needling, but never, never that. So I'm going to be a little fancy girl. I'm going to try this product again. Usually I'll just use my NYX, um, oh Lord, what's it called? The NYX Flick It, NYX Fly, I do not know. It's just in the NYX eyebrow pencil that I use every day. The little pen, the marker. I use it legit every day. But I didn't use it today because I want to try this again. But normally that's what I use. I just feel like this holds too much product on it. Okay, I don't really like this still. For my lips, I'm going to be using, this has obviously been well loved. Um, this is the Cashmere Lip Gloss from Vaughn Beauty. We do have new packaging. I don't think I've posted a video since we got new packaging. I really don't think that I have, but if I have, we got new packaging. If I haven't, I'll post up some pictures on the screen so you guys can see. It looks absolutely stunning. I'm so happy. We went from the frosted bottles to, uh, I decided to do just clear bottles so you could see the pigment a little bit more. And I'm going to use the Dibs uh, Beauty Lip Definers. And I think this is the shade. I did not know the shade, actually. There's no shade on it. But it's just a, the light pink lip liner. I also like the packaging of these. Because you get two. Like, you get a contour shade or you can get, like, whatever shade you want. And then, so, you've got the contour and then, the, like, the pretty pink or whatever kind of shade you want. And then it's held in the middle. So, you just pull it off. I think that's really convenient and then obviously got to go in with cashmere which is a really pretty just sheer sheer color and then it's got pink sparkles in it not like overwhelmingly pink but just a few sheer pink sparkles i'm gonna have to fix my brows because i literally hate the way that they look but i'm gonna do that in a minute right now i'm gonna put on my mascara and i'm gonna use the ilia fullest volume mascara it's one of my favorites mascaras you've probably heard me talk about it a thousand and twenty two times it's just stunning I'm going to use the Milani Weekend Brow Pen in the shade Espresso to do my brows. Because I'm just going to put some like hair-like strokes in them. Because they're not looking so hot. Okay, so pretty much that's it. I did my mascara and then I filled in my brows with the Weekend Brow. I do like that Weekend Brow. That's really nice. Um, it was easy to use too. And now I'm just going to take my Charlotte Tilbury, the classic eye powder pencil. And this is the brown one. And I'm just going to make like a little flick from my lower lash line up. And that's literally pretty much what I do every single day for my makeup. So this is it. If I want to add any sort of, um, or like lessen the glow around my face, I'll go in with the Charlotte Tilbury powder. Sometimes I'll use my um, beauty sponge and I'll dip it in here, pat it on the back of my hand and then press it around, which I'm sure you guys have seen me do before. And sometimes I'll take the A22 brush Dip in just a tiny bit, like, on the side. And then put a little in my T-zone or just on my cheeks where I get more so shiny. Because I am about to film some more videos and so I don't want to be too shiny. I'll also sometimes do it in my, like, where I get smile lines. And that is pretty much it. I love that mascara so much. Every time I use it, I'm like, dang, my makeup looks so much better with, with using it. So... Here is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe before you leave. Let me know how your month is going, how your year is going. We're only in March, so we only have, you know, we've only been doing this for like three dang months. So, it is what it is. A little over two months, actually. So, let me know how your life is going. Also, thank you so much to Ritual for partnering with me on a portion of, of today's video. Excuse me. Okay. Anyway, thank you to Ritual for partnering with me on a portion of today's video. It means the world, and I love your all's company. So, don't forget to, to check out the description box for all the products that I use. They are, like I said, listed down below. And also for your discount for uh, your Ritual vitamins. Your Ritual vitamins. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and have a fabulous day.